Low pressure plasma technique plays a crucial role in present semiconductor industry. However, operating the plasma at reduced pressure has several drawbacks. Vacuum systems are expensive and require maintenance. Moreover, the operational range is limited by the size of the vacuum chamber. Atmospheric pressure plasma whose source includes corona discharge, plasma torch, dielectric barrier discharge, and plasma jet can overcome the disadvantages of the vacuum operation and have wide applications in manufacturing semiconductor devices and materials processing. In this study, we apply a chemical vapor deposition technique by using the atmospheric pressure plasma jet systems to deposit transparent conductive oxides. Transparent conductive oxides such as indium tin oxide, aluminum doped zinc oxide, and gallium doped zinc oxide have been widely studied and utilized for displays and photovoltaics applications for decades, owing to their unique properties of conducting electrical current and transmitting light in the visible spectral range simultaneously. Although ITO is the most commonly used TCO material for transparent electrodes, gallium doped zinc oxide has become one of the popular TCO materials because of its excellent optoelectronic characteristic, non-toxicity, and low cost. Our APBJ system consists of a plasma jet, a direct current post power source, an ultrasonic generator, a heating plate, and a computer-controlled XYZ stage. The plasma is generated by DC power excitation of nitrogen. We used zinc nitride and gallium nitride as the precursors and dissolved them in the deionized water. The ultrasonic generator was used to atomize the precursor solution into mist, which was then carried to the plasma region by the carrier gas and underwent certain chemical reactions. The carrier gas was a mixture of nitrogen, argon, and hydrogen. The gap was the distance between the nozzle and the substrate. The temperature of the substrate was set at 300 degrees Celsius in order to increase the chemical reactivity. For the purpose of depositing uniform thin films, the nozzle sprayed over the entire substrate by the motion of XYZ stage. In recent years, the development of curved displays and wearable devices have been advancing rapidly. Curved substrates with large surface area can be treated as a composition of a series of small plates tilted in small angles. Therefore, the effects of tilted angles may be vital in the APBJ-based film deposition on the curved substrate. In our present research, we aim to understand the influences of oblique angle of the substrate and scanning trajectory on the quality of the deposited films. First, we made several modifications to the APBJ system with an eye to carrying out the deposition experiment of tilted substrate. Next, we applied various material analysis methods to find out the correlation between the experimental data and measurement results. The conclusion provides important information for research related to film deposition on curved substrate. Currently, we set up a laser-assisted ABBJ system to investigate the feasibility of directly creating GZO lines and patterns by using a laser to locally heat the substrate during spraying without the need of heating plate and the subsequent lithography process for patterning.